Create React app is officially dead. Check this out. The react.dev website has just been released and it is the official go-to website to learn everything you need to know about React. And we can go through and look through it really quick. And it has all these nice visuals and you can read through all of these different components and then go through all the documentation to see how to build all these little miniature applications that can get you started. Now, what do I mean by create React app? Why am I saying it is dead? Well, if you were to go up here to learn, click on this, and then technically we could go to installation and click on how to start a new React project. Now here on their website, they are recommending different frameworks to choose from to start your own React project. So if you have any experience, then you are most likely familiar with Next.js. If you're a beginner, you might not know, but essentially Next.js is essentially the best one if you wanna build a full stack website, app, and then we have Remix. Gatsby is also very popular for blog posts. However, it utilizes GraphQL for data. So if you are starting off, it's not going to be the funnest thing to do because it is a little confusing for beginners. And then there's also Expo. And then we can see additional details. Can you use it without a framework? But one thing that they didn't put in the actual suggestions that I personally have tested and used myself is Vite or Vite, however you want to pronounce it. And what essentially is Vite? Well, in short, it's a significantly faster way to start up a project. And it's here, the installation, which I'm actually going to show you the difference right away. Let's go ahead and actually pull up VS Code. And this is the one that you might have seen a lot of people starting to utilize. And it's just the simplest one to get started and super easy compared to Next.js or even Gatsby. And all we need to do, depending on which one you have, npm yarn or pmpm, I am using npm. So I'll go ahead and just copy this. And let me just show you the difference and how to start that up. So here I just pulled up VS Code. Let's just go ahead and make a new directory. And let's just call this uh, React Test-1. Let me cd into react test dash one. And then let's do code dot, well, I'll make sure I type that in, code dot dash r. And this is going to open this in. And uh, yes, I do trust. And let's open up my terminal. And now I'm gonna go ahead and paste in that line from the Vite or Vite websites. Go right here. npm create Vite at latest. And I'm gonna go ahead and press enter. Now, one question a lot of people might have is, what happens to all the tutorials that are utilizing Create React app? Well, let's go ahead and actually present it really quick. In short, Create React app is just a way to start off a project, and let's just call this project name V Project. Yeah, let's keep it like this. And it's gonna choose a framework. I'm going to go here and click on React. Hit enter. And for this, I'm just gonna use JavaScript, keep it simple. And then boom, there we go. And technically we have our V project right here. So I need to go CD here, V dash project, boom. Now I'm inside of this and then I can do NPM install. And then after that installs, I can do NPM run dev. So in short, the main difference versus create React app is one, V is much faster. And two, if you are following a tutorial or watching some sort of video, blog, whatever it is, the main difference would just be the product setup. You might see some files that might look a little different, but in general, it's pretty much the same structure. If you were to just start up a V project, Vi project, and then just copy in all the files from the previous tutorial over, it would be the exact same concept. And then all we need to do now is do npm run dev, go here, and then it's going to give me a URL. And that is one thing is localhost it is a different number that you probably aren't familiar to seeing, and then boom, we have it just like that. So now if I were to just go in here, you can see we have similar public folders, Vite, Vite, however you wanna pronounce this, and then we have app.jsx. So they are using JSX, so if you wanna change that up, I mean, you can, but that seems to be the default now. And then I can bring this over and just show you really quick. This is essentially where our front end, you can see exactly right here. So I'll be like right here into the each one, yo, hit save, boom, there we go. And it's active, you can mess around with this. So the overall structure is a little different 
we can see the files here. And if you were to use the other frameworks such as Next, uh, Gatsby, etc., those are going to be a slightly different setup too. But in general, you saw how quick that was. If you ever seen a Create React app start up, I usually have to pause the video just for it to finish updating, and then I come back. So this this did it live really really quickly. So this is do you update? Let me know your thoughts on this. Which framework do you recommend using your project with? And if you want to see more videos utilizing Vit or any of the other frameworks for creating React projects, definitely let me know. Aside from that, like and subscribe for more.